So we are here at Marvin on Wellington Street. We almost didn't get a table here, but they were nice enough to squeeze us in. Um, and it's lovely. The chef is going to bring us a tasting menu. And there's Michelle. Hi. It's the, view, it's the View the Vibe team. We had a marketing meeting today. And so now we're all going out to eat and drink. My name is Misha. We'll do a bunch of snacks and we'll do a little bit of fish, maybe a little yoki with a fish, and then uh, we'll do a burger cut in four so you guys can all try a little quarter and uh, maybe a little dessert if you still have work. Okay. okay. Thank you so yeah, much. No worries. Thank you. We just got lovely Village Bay oysters and they here have a very unique mignonette which is made with cucumber and fresh lemon. That oyster is yummy. And that mignonette, I can taste the cucumber and it's fresh. It's actually really a nice, refreshing taste. Do you taste the freshness that I'm talking about? Because of the cucumber, there's like... I know, right? Yeah, just like a little something-something that you just don't know where to get. A little something-something. Thank nice you. Nice. That looks amazing. So this is the foie gras with the rabbit terrine. A little bit of the peach mango. Uh, and no. basil. Yeah, basil. Peach, peach and basil chutney. Some microgreens. <laughs> So there's cilantro and the microgreens with, matched with the peach and the sorabe and the pistachio. All those flavors just they were so they like moist in your mouth. And this is one of Nikki's things is try a little bit of everything on the plate and it really is true because I probably wouldn't normally eat that little micro salad and think it's just a garnish. No. But there are flavors in there that totally match with everything in the tree. And then the peach, I mean I'm a big one. I love that all the No, it's amazing. It's really, really good. Um, oh yeah. This is usually it's a little bigger than usual, you know. I mean. Uh, oh my god. So we make all the stuff here, obviously. Yeah. We got a little bit of chorizo, um, venison uh, terrine with um, cured pork tenderloin in the milk, oh. uh, straight pastrami. It's a beef brisket that's been brined just over a week, and then um, yeah, and then we smoke it for about eight hours. This is a pepperoni made with beef and red wine, and then, uh, it's a little experiment. It's a Lebanese bologna. So Ooh. it's an all beef sausage and a small dye. And uh, it has some nice warm spices to it. This pastrami has everybody like literally orgasming at the table. This one in particular. So it's moist. I'm... It's nice and fatty. Smoky. Really flavorful. Very smoky. I had the terrine. The terrine. The pork and venison terrine. It's awesome. Is it? That's pretty much all I need to say. It's amazing. It really is. Grout, gravlax, lots of cilantro. Daikon, a little bit of teriyaki, a cilantro yogurt, and the... Uh, Sour. No, cucumber. Is it cucumber? Cucumber. It was excellent. It was really, really nice. Um, I would... My only thing... I wish I had more teriyaki. Oh! oh. But, uh, it's this is a chicken season. Right? Oh my god, I just had a bite of this deliciousness. Yeah. That's the um, chicken with the Caesar salad or chicken Caesar. Holy bloody hell, that's good. That's fucking fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> they cook it sous vide style again, right? And then they, he said he what, they cut it and then they deep fry it after it's been chilled. Hazelnuts on top. Like that is innovation. You don't see a lot of places where yes. they really yes. innovate. Yes, I agree. This yes. is a standout yeah. dish. How's the beet salad? Delicious. Goat cheese and that dressing is too high for it. Yeah. I love beet. I like that they put look. It's, it's a really solid beet salad. And I like that the you normally they crumble the goat cheese on and he like yeah. whips his goat cheese. No, he in his whipped dressing. it with like a ton of goat cheese in there. And there's a shed load of, of uh, beets in there, which is amazing. The burger. Everybody's been talking about the burger. Ever since we checked in here, all the tweets are best burger in Toronto, best burger in Toronto. Yeah, so I'm everybody. I know. I'm really is. excited. Oh, it's so good. Um, There's a meat wrapped inside of this burger. It really? is so tender and so juicy and so yeah. flavorful. I didn't want to talk about it because I don't think, yeah, you can't do it justice. You have, you have to oh, just yeah? eat it. Yeah. You really, really do. So I don't eat burgers, ever. Ella Yu has food junkie chronicles. It's her favorite burger in the city. And I can honestly understand why. One bite, and the flavors that came out were a combination of 
beef burger meal, a little bit of truffle oil, a little bit of Emmental cheese, a little bit of onion. Like I get so many flavors from this, it's crazy. Sorry, don't look at me like that. They're all looking at me like I'm crazy. No, I get it.